I'm Master Cicerone Mirella Amato, and this is my friend Matt. Hello. Today we're doing our fifth beer gadget review. If you missed any of the previous videos, you can see them by following the link that I'm going to post there. Follow it. Yes, uh, not only is this our fifth video, but it's sadly our last video as well. It is, yeah. But definitely the funnest video. Yes, looking forward to this one. Yes. <laughs> All right, so this one is the Frozen Draft Machine, which is this guy right here. Um, now, the first thing I'll say about it is that it is a little bit of a process. So it does require a little bit of a setup. So you're going to need some water some salt, some ice, and of course, the most important ingredient of all, beer. Yes. This is actually a scientific process, which is quite exciting. That's We're gonna blend all these ingredients, and what's gonna happen, Matt? It's going to turn this beer into ice cream. Yes! Yeah. So I first heard about this device about five years ago. There were videos coming from Japan of people pouring beer and then adding like a beer slushy to the top of their beer instead of foam. And the idea was that it would keep the beer cold longer, apparently 13 minutes longer. Mm. I'm not really interested in the cold, but I'm very excited about making a beer ice cream and putting it on top of my beer. Yes. It just sounds fun. It could be more fun than that. And who doesn't love ice cream? I certainly do. I live for it. So this particular device we did uh, get from Japan. And when it arrived, I came across a bit of a stumbling block. Just a little one. In the instructions. We found that all of the instructions were in Japanese. Yes, and sadly, neither Matt or I can read Japanese. So we had to look at the images and find the numbers. And we looked at a few videos online, which were also in Japanese, started piecing it together. And then we filled the gaps by putting some Japanese characters through Google Translate. And we pieced it all together, yes. finally. And we are going to show you how to use this device so you can make ice cream at home if you want. Yes, so we cracked the code and now we're going to show you exactly what to do so that you can have some uh, beer ice cream for yourself. So the first thing that we're gonna do to get started is we're going to unscrew the top. Snaps right off, just like so. We're going to remove this yellow piece. And then inside here, we're going to take out the beer chamber. Where the science happens. And also the magic. And we're gonna start with our steps here. So we're gonna take this water mm -hmm. and we're gonna fill it up to the first line. Mm. And then we're gonna take our salt and we're gonna put that in as well. And that's gonna take us up to the second line. Get it all in there. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna start to piece it back together. So we're gonna put our beer chamber back in. Mm -hmm. And while we're doing that, Mirella is going to pour some beer into the measuring cup so that we have 100 milliliters of beer. Got it. We're gonna put the yellow piece back on. And then inside here, we're going to put this 100 milliliter, <laughs> milliliters of beer into the beer chamber. There we go. There you go. Yes. And then we're gonna take the top piece and we're gonna put it back into place. Get that snapped in. And then we have one last final step and that the is the ice. And we're gonna put it in the ice hatch. Like that word, hatch. I feel like we never say it anymore. And then we're just gonna put it in the back like that. And this ice is going to bring us up to the third line. All right, all the ice is in. We're gonna close the hatch. And unlike all of these other devices that we've looked at thus far, um, these have all required batteries. This one just requires the use of electricity. So we're gonna get it plugged in. There we go. And one last final step here. We're going to turn the dial to setting number one. And here we go. Oh. Yeah. No, I don't like that. Well, as you can hear, this makes a little bit of a sound. How long? Yeah. How what? Long do we, how long do we need to do this for? We need to do this for 30 minutes. Ugh. Yes, three okay. zero. Whew. Oh, thank goodness that's over. Yes. Oh. So what's next? Okay, so next we're gonna take 150 grams of ice. Okay. We're gonna open up the hatch and we're gonna put it in. Just like this. This is fun. All right. So now that our ice is in, we're gonna close the hatch. And 
then we're gonna put it on setting number two. Oh, for how long? For another 30 minutes. But I promise this is the last 30 minutes, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, I just wanna rip the band-aid right off. Here we go. Woo! Oh, it's oh, louder. A little bit, but that's oh, okay. I don't like it. Oh, I, oh, she doesn't like it. She's upset. Okay, oh. what can we do to make you feel better? Let's go to our happy place. We're gonna go to a happy place. You know what? I'm gonna bring Marilla to an even happier place right now by doing this. Oh, thank goodness that's yeah. over. You're happy, aren't you? Oh, the bees and quiet. I love that moment after a loud, irritating noise when it's just like tranquility. But I'm curious to taste it. Yes, let's, let's do it. Take a look. Okay, so Marilla's gonna pour us some beers. Yes. And I am gonna go ahead and do the big reveal. And uh, okay, <laughs> all right. Um, Feeling like there really isn't much going on here. Well, let's scoop it on the beer and see what happens. Okay, let's do that. Okay, go. me first. Nice. Okay, that's all right. This is something. Yeah, it's a denser foam than like, what was on the yeah, beer. Like, are you getting ice cream right now? Because I'm getting dog foam, like a oh. rabid dog. Okay, well, shall we taste our dog, I mean our ice cream? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. On the count of three? Yes. One, One two, two, three. three. Yeah, I'm getting nothing. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it just tastes like slightly cold foam. Well, I'll tell you what I was expecting. I was expecting an ice cream texture. I was expecting to get that ice cream feeling in my mouth, right? You know, like when you just let it melt and it just has a yeah. nice creamy, smooth finish. Like I'm getting nothing. There is nothing about this or this that even suggests ice cream to me. It's, it's just a letdown. I would want, I was expecting something more considering I'm, the hour of that horrible noise. Plus it's $75 and I don't know, just let down. Yeah, that's steep. Also, this beer was poured carefully because the foam was added on top, so all the carbonation is still in there. This beer is not going to pass the bloat test. We're going to be drinking all that carbonation, and that is... Not cute. Not cute. And this doesn't even look cute. No. Like, there's no cuteness here. I'm sorry. I really wanted to go out on cute. Hmm. Okay, well... I mean, to summarize, if I have to find something positive to say, um, I would say that this is a fun activity that you could do with a partner, with a friend, with your kid, anybody. Um, but outside of using it once, I don't see how anybody would want to subject themselves to that insufferable noise. Yes. And just oh. the time-consuming process. Oh. And also... If I was to use this for a party to entertain, mm -hmm. unless I have one person, two maybe, or three maybe at the most, um, I would have to make multiple batches, and that is something that I just feel I would not want to do. That's a lot of noise. And a lot of work. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm just hoping moving forward that I might also be able to use this to make ice cream. It's probably a similar process. Yeah, if you get ice cream. <laughs> Well, uh, this is our last review, and for the Frozen Draft Machine, I would say that it's a cold and noisy adventure. You know, and I agree with you, but this whole thing has been an adventure. It has, it's been a lot of fun. It? I've had fun going through each and every one of these um, gadgets and also just learning a couple new things myself. I will tell you that from this from this whole time, I will never drink beer right out of a can. I always pour it into a glass. That's good. As a server, I do the same thing. I always, always bring a glass with the beer and uh, pour it for them so that they know that they're not going to get that bloatness after they've had their food. Not so it's not cute. cute. Never no. cute. 
Well, it's been a pleasure doing these videos with you, Matt. Yes, You've I... added tons of fun. And thank you, and I'm so glad that you asked me to do this with you. And yeah, it's been boatloads of fun, darling. Boatloads. Yes. I hope you've enjoyed the videos as much as we have. If so, you should subscribe. You don't know what we're going to do next. <laughs> you never know. Subscribe. <laughs> Let's finish our dog Shall bone. we? Give me a gadget to make my fall. dog foam.